Hi, my name is Alessandra Ruiz, and today I'll be showing you how to use a web-based Python program for rapid assessment of climate change trends anywhere in the world. So by using this tool, you can evaluate long-term trends of climate change by automatically extracting more than 60 years of historical and 30 years of projected precipitation records for any location in the world. So the first step we're going to do is go to your file and save a copy and drive. So after saving a copy and drive, we can go ahead and look at this first line. So if you've ran this tool previously, you can go ahead and click on it, press backspace and uh, erase the hashtag symbol that was there. This changes this from a statement to a command. So pressing play, you will delete all the previous data you have used by running the cell. But if this is your first time using this tool, you don't need to worry about this step. You can go ahead and skip it and go to the first step which is installing the Python modules. So in the second step, we're going to import the modules. So here we're going to download our precipitation data, and now we can select our time range. So I'm going to choose from 1960 To 2015 and from 1985 to 2015. I hit enter and now it's loading. It might take a few minutes to load. Alright, so for the next step we're going to browse over the map and select our location of interest. So you're going to press the play button and zoom in to Houston, Texas for our test case. Alright, so the latitude and longitude, we're going to type it in right here. We press play and we can type in the latitude. It's 29.7656. Alright, press enter and then it's going to be negative 95.3610. and press enter. Now we're going to read the netcdf file, press play, and extract the monthly precipitation data, and save it. Here we can see the monthly data and the past precipitation in millimeters per month and projected data as well. So now we're going to calculate the yearly total precipitation data and save it. So here's the yearly data. And now we can visualize how precipitation has been changing over the years in a time series plot. Here we go. This red line is a trend of past precipitation and here is the past precipitation. This is yearly. And now we're going to compare the historical projected precipitation. Here we go, this is by monthly and this is yearly. So as we can see the projected precipitation is actually less than the previous precipitation. And step 7, we're going to perform statistical analysis of climate change. Here's our summary of statistics. And now we're going to download four CSV files to our computer. Be sure to press play in every cell. You will know you have successfully downloaded when you receive a pop-up. And now allows you to download the results.zip folder. So you can use this tool for any location of your interest and um, different time ranges as well. So once you open up that PDF file that's within your results folder, you'll see something like this. This is all the different time series plots that we created using this tool. The first one that shows up is the monthly historical precipitation for Houston, Texas. And as we can see, it's from 1960 to 2015, which was our selected time range. So like I said, Feel free to use this for any location of your interest, any time range, 
Thank you so much for listening and following along to this tutorial. Good luck!